Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about Salter-Harris classification of fractures. But first, let us look at the normal bone. In a bone, we have a metaphysis, which is towards the shaft, an epiphysis, which is towards the head, and in between these two, we have a physis. When a fracture occurs, it can be classified into five Salter-Harris types. In the first type, the fracture lines go through the physis, which means if you see this normal physial plate, the fracture line will completely go through the physis. An example of this kind of classification is slipped capital femoral epiphysis. The second type, uh, it is when the fracture is in the metaphysis. So this has a better prognosis because it does not directly involve the growing growth plate. An example of this would be supracondylar fracture. In the third type, the epiphysis is involved. Since the growing part of the bone is involved, it has a bad prognosis in terms of growth because it will stop the gro further growing of the bone. An example would be a lower tibia fracture. In the fourth type, all layers, the metaphysis, physis as well as epiphysis is involved. An example of this is lateral condyle fracture of humerus. Finally, in the fifth type, the bone undergoes complete compression, which means like when falling from a height, the bone will get compressed, the physial plate will get compressed. And this has the worst prognosis of all of them.